Hello everyone. So we are from Kit Kaksha bringing you the interview which we promised for. So we have amongst us Ms. Shrishti Gautam who is working as a PwC consultant. She was an ex-employee in IBM Office 2. So can we please welcome her? I am Soumya Sinha. And I am Abhinav Srivastava. We are very happy to have her in our interview. So let's begin. Hello, ma'am. So let's start from your schooling. So how was your schooling and uh, were you some interested in computer science since your schooling? Okay. So I graduated high school in the year 2012. You know, I was not always interested in computer science because my main uh, subject was biotechnology along with uh, mathematics. So I also had physics and chemistry. Physics bothered me a lot. I did not enjoy studying it. But yeah, chemistry and maths were good. I enjoyed it. So 10th and 12th were good. I cannot say I was a high performer, but I was an average student. But I always wanted to achieve some things in life. But I was kind of lost. I just want to tell you that even if you don't perform well in school, there's uh, no, no point in getting disappointed in yourself. Just believe in yourself because you have college. And even if you don't perform well in college, you can do very well later in life. So the one of the most important things is never stop believing in yourself. I never did. And later I joined KIT. I belong to the batch 2016 and I was a student of electrical engineering. Now, what motivated me to choose electrical engineering was in 12th standard, we had a sub, um, we had physics and in that we had a chapter for electricity. So uh, though the entire physics, you know, bothered me a lot, but that particular ch uh, chapter, you know, I was hooked on to it and I really enjoyed it. So based on that, I took the decision of uh, choosing electrical engineering, which I never regretted it. Actually, it's a quite fun subject, difficult, but it was interesting. It was a great listening from you, ma'am, that how how much you believe in yourself. And it's really important for today's generation that they should believe in themselves because nowadays people just leave. Like if, if something is not working out, they just start blaming themselves and the blame game happens. So I would like to ask you, ma'am, how were your initial days in KIT? Like in first year, second year, third year, how was it? Okay. So now coming to first year, and I'm pretty much sure all the engineers are out there will agree to this that you know first year passes by in the blink of an eye most of the time you don't know what is happening and the rest of the time you know it's utilized in containing the excitement of this brand new college life and adjusting to hostel life and all those stuffs and the syllabus in first year is also quite easy so you can balance fun with your studies there's never a problem in that now coming to second year i believe that second and third year are the crucial parts of a college year because uh, all the major core subjects are integrated in the curriculum and you have to be very very serious in the, those two years and it's always good if you start for your placement also in the little bit uh, in this by the end of the second year or at the beginning of the third year because uh, some of the important subjects that are asked in placement that requires a lot of critical thinking and your brain cannot start working like that within a month so you have to start practicing it at an earlier stage so that later you are able to solve it with ease the next thing is in third year you are uh, the most important thing is internship many people get confused how many internship they should do no it doesn't matter it, at least one in internship should be there on your re resume even if it's not there companies will hire you so there is no point in panicking about internships what they see is the character that you bring to the company it's never about your grades. It's never about how many internships you have done. So when I was in third year, I did internship in BHEL. And uh, it was pretty much about turbo generators, how they function and how they manufacture it and how they maintain it. It was quite insightful. I enjoyed it. And then later in fourth year, uh, I also did see in third year, I was interacting with a lot of seniors. Uh, so that I get to know what kind of companies are coming and should I expect for core companies or um, my focus should be there for IT companies. And in KIT, I think uh, very few core companies comes. So you have to keep a flexible mind and you have to be prepared for IT as well. 
so i made that a point that in fourth year i do a uh, courses in c c++ i did and um, i enjoyed c not c++ then later on uh, i went on doing another course on c sharp that was good c sharp is quite good i still use it and it's i enjoy it so the programming language in which i had command was c sharp and that's what ma- matters if you're sitting for any it company you should have command in at least one programming language that is what companies look for it doesn't matter whether it's c c++ c sharp python or anything else out there you just need to have a good command over it so there's no need of panicking about internship about how many languages you should put in your resume resume should be simple one programming language is good enough what matters is how how much skilled you are at it okay so now that's just about all the four years of my college and one more thing is uh since i told you that placements in uh, kit had a drawback that is not many core companies come to it but there were a lot of it companies that were coming for on campus recruitment and it it also had a plus point i remembered saranjit sir was so focused for our placements that it seemed like that his or her daughter is sitting for placements he trained us a lot he uh, conducted a lot of classes i remember our fourth year was less about our technical subjects and more about aptitude reasonings and all these classes and he also conducted a lot of mock test and mock interviews as well so that when we face the real interviews we don't get nervous there so ma'am uh, let's now discuss that if a fresher once gets into the college then usse matlab bahut zyada us waqt confusion rehta hai kuch bachche bagal ke hostel room mein series dekhte rehte hain to kuch bagal mein hi apna gaming tournament chalta rehta hai aur wahan pe kuch log hote hain jo ki bahut zyada seriously padhna bhi chahte hain to matlab unko to mazak bana diya jata hai aise hostel rooms mein aise situations mein first year mein kya concerned hone chahiye ek bachche ke kya karna chahiye usse okay so uh, okay i'll tell that first year don't take it so you know don't put yourself under so much of stress take things lightly because uh, f- you know first year has comparatively easier subjects and your main focus should be maintaining your grades even though you are having fun make sure that your grades are on point they don't fall down and second thing is even though uh, you're having fun and everything but you should utilize that time in exploring what you want to do because later in second and third years you'll maybe you'll get less amount of time in exploring so it's always good to explore where do you want to see yourself after college or in what what companies you see yourself working for and what is your dream company it's it's good to you know explore yourself and get to know yourself better what you want to do and also uh, as i mentioned that kit uh, there were very few core companies and if i would have known in the first year then maybe i would have i would not have opted for uh, electrical engineering i would have opted for some other branch so it's always good to explore utilize the time in exploring okay so um, like when the college starts so everybody tries to get involved into some development courses like someone wants to learn machine learning someone wants to learn web development and on the other side uh, some get to hear that no we should be just focusing on the uh, competitive coding so what should be the actual balance the perfect balance which one should maintain and at what time one should like start focusing on competitive coding and at what time he should be trying uh, or the other development things okay don't try to aim too high in the first year of college uh, like getting into competitive coding it's good if you want to get into it it's perfectly fine but you also need to learn so utilize that first year that time of first year in learning new skills suppose if you want to go for machine learning you know just learn the basics of it because if you start doing it in the third or fourth year that will just you know induce a lot of stress and uh, because of shortage of time and it's better to do those in the first or second year of your college life even if you want to balance uh, competitive coding with it it's fine do it do both together but never compromise the, on the learning part then uh, what should be someone maintaining their ratio from studying syllabus to doing and gaining all these extra knowledge okay so i feel that it should be 60 40% 
you 60% of your focus should be on uh, studying the syllabus because that's also very important and 40% should be on uh, learning about placements but uh, do this ratio is actually applicable if you are in the third year of your college in the first or second year make it 80 20 so that you focus on uh, you know up upgrading yourself and also and also on uh, maintaining your grades which you know i keep repeating it's very important Mama, as you talked about the grades like people are very concerned some someone say itna maintain kar lo it's fine for the placement itna maintain like if you are like uh, between 8.5 9 it's fine if you are like below 8 then it's some sometimes risky so what do you suggest what should be the grade limit a, a normal average student should have first of all at any point in time never sell yourself short like uh, this is the minimum criteria for it so i'll score only this never do that just explore more what you can do because your capability is that you can perform better then why not perform better so always aim high never sell yourself short that uh, if this is the minimum criteria for clearing this exam so only these grades are enough just try to do it if you don't score high then also it's fine but at least try and then how does all the societies which we have in our college help us in growth and whatever personality growth or maybe knowledge wise how much does it help see there are so many things we have to do in life don't just focus solely on your career it's important to have fun as well uh, because that's one regret i have in my college life i maintained you know rigorous self discipline throughout the first three years of college i used to wake up at 4 am and then sleep at 10 pm because you know i did not wanted to make the same mistake which i made in my 10th and 12th standard so i never joined any societies i never joined any clubs but uh, i do have that regret and at this point in my life and so i make sure that i do all those things which i missed out in my college life right now uh, but you know that age cannot come back so please do join societies uh, indulge in as many extracurricular activities as you want you know do whatever that makes you happy but your grades should not fall so ma'am what are your suggestions for a non computer science branch student how if they aim for an it company what should they prepare what should they look into okay so as i told you the for number one thing that any companies look for is your character how you are answering to questions and how good you have command over english language and whether you are able to communicate effectively or not and they'll give you some real time scenarios about clients and how you respond to it you know suppose if a client is angry i was asked this question in my interview that uh, suppose you were uh, supposed to deliver this thing by a set amount of time but you were unable to do it and the client gets angry so how will you handle that now you cannot respond that you will start shouting at him as well you have to handle him patiently you have to uh, let him know that okay this all went wrong and that delayed my delivery and i ensure that it will not happen in future and also for your inconvenience we are we are willing to give you something extra so these are the things which you should know how to interact with someone even if the person you are interact with is not you know interacting in a proper manner he is angry or uh, he is not behaving in a proper way you should not lose your calm in that those kind of scenarios so there'll be a lot of scenario, scenario wise questions as well and you should know how to handle it so number one they check your character how do you perform uh, in case of stressful situations number two what they will see is how good you have command over at least one programming language even i as i told earlier that it doesn't matter whatever language it is b c c++ c sharp python anything is good you just should you should know the basics you should know about the data structures algorithms how to write programs and uh, even if in the interviews you are not able to i know some people who were not able to write programs but they had the solution for it and they gave the solution to the interviews that if you do like this our result will be like this but i am not able to frame it and they got selected as well so your basics is the main thing and critical thinking and your character okay ma'am what if someone targets uh, like big mncs which uh, firstly they give basically internships and then they give the ppo so like uh, in that cases and when someone is basically aiming for off campus placement so mm-hmm. what steps should he follow what measures should he take for it first of all your basics should be clear uh, i am assuming that by off campus placement you mean it companies only right so your basics should yes. be clear in that and uh, 
practice a lot of data structured and algorithms because i think when i was in my previous company we hired an intern we together uh, took the interview and we basically asked him about all the basics he knows data structures algorithms because coming fresh out of college we also don't have high expectations from someone we give that much of you know freedom that we it's okay it's okay if that person doesn't know that much but he should know the basics and uh, some some parts and he should be able to write at least some parts of a program okay so uh, now if you can tell something that uh, about if someone gets placed into a company like uh, it's a, it's not that top notch company and then he wants to move forward into his career to achieve a, a job in a top notch company then what should he do at that stage be willing to change because uh, you have to be flexible suppose if you're in um, in a certain company which you don't like and you want to go at a, a you know a company which performs better which pays you better and which has a better brand value then always keep in mind that uh, you are in that company for a reason and you might have to upskill as well to get into a better company so always be open to change always be ready to upskill because uh, you know it company is ever evolving it's not stagnant and uh, you have to jump from one skill to another in a very short amount of time you need to have that skill as well so just be open to change okay ma'am so can you just brief us about it based companies like what is the difference between service based and product based companies okay so i'll give you an example so what you have in mind what is a service based company ma'am i think you need to work more in that service based company <laughs> no that's one of the myths okay so uh, actually work is pretty much same in both of them uh, perks and privileges are more in product based company as they say and uh, pretty much it has lots of work so if either if, even if you are in service based or product based it doesn't matter work will be there so okay service based is we are offering our services to the client suppose there is a business process we identify that uh, there, there there is a need for improvement in the business process so we'll offer our services to them we'll send our resources uh, who will work on improving that process whereas the product based company suppose for example is uh, atlassian you must have heard of it as one of the famous uh, product based company and uh, its product is jira which we use for agile methodology every company almost is using that product for uh, you know agile methodologies so now that company is offering its product to several other companies so what kind of work that particular per company is performing it's just maintaining its product and it's coming up with new and creative ideas that it can integrate in its products so that it can focus on better quality delivery now you know the difference Okay, ma'am. So uh, there is another question for you. Uh, if a fresher wants a job, uh, a specific job role, like uh, he wants to work just as a web developer or just as an Android developer, then what measures should he follow? Okay, so it's very good if someone knows what to do in life at such an early stage. So kudos to that. If someone knows it, then uh, just uh, develop a plan around that thing. If you want to work for, uh, suppose as an Android developer, then uh, do some self development projects, develop some apps, so that an in interview you can uh, you know portray that as your skill that I've worked on these self development projects. try to get some internships into that domain so that the interviewer knows that okay you are good in that skill and we might utilize you for that later but this strategy is not always useful because when you go into a, a mnc or a, any top companies they will retrain you into the skill they want so uh, being a fresher you should be little bit flexible try to gain some experience and if you're not happy with what you're being offered then be willing to change into whatever domain you want you can do it internally or you can maybe switch companies to get what you want just one question from my side uh, for example a student is a like a fresher student let's take an example of fresher and till his third year or maybe almost when he has almost reached his fourth year he is not even aware of what domain he his interest lies in so what do you suggest it's better to just focus on the programming language and just go with the flow or should inculcate something like domain is necessary for a person but just programming language would work 
I think programming language would work because fourth year is a very crucial time. You should focus more on your placements. So uh, just you know avoid experimenting things uh, in the fourth year. Just focus on your placements. And once you get a job, you can later explore and try off uh, campus placements as well to get into the domain you want. And ma'am, what would what will be your few message for the third years who are currently stuck in the lockdown and they are very worried about their placement and internship? So, any message for them? First of all, is you have to work hard because since you are in third year, it's very important to work hard. And uh, I I still remember third year was one of the hectic phases of my life. There was so much to study, so much to manage, internships and everything. It it was quite difficult, but. you should keep on going with a larger picture in your mind like i want to see myself there and i have to get through this i know the times are difficult uh, students will be uh, worried about placements and all those things uh, because this covid 19 situation you know it's many companies are uh, laying off employees they are not recruiting they have even deferred hikes and bonuses of you know many employees out there so it's not a good situation but it's not going to last so keep that in mind it's never going to and then nothing ever last so just keep trying you'll get there manchu do you do you have any question from your side because i think we are out of question uh, so ma'am i wanted to ask uh, about your transition from this college life to uh, means your corporate life like you were all busy with your interviews and everything and suddenly it changed from that busy interview period to corporate life so was the corporate life as busy and as stressing as your interview period and your fourth year period or was it any lighter okay transitioning from college to corporate life will not be that difficult but transitioning from fourth year after you get placed to a corporate life will be difficult because after you get placed you know focus more on the enjoyment part and later when you know when the joining date arrives and you join that company and you have to sit for nine long hours it's terrible guys let me tell you the first few days will be terrible uh, it takes a lot of effort into adjusting you might even curse your life also at times and uh, but later it gets you know you just get adjusted to it and also when the first salary arrives ma'am apart from all these uh, mediocre questions i want to ask a very 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 serious question if i may mm-hmm. so the money that our parents are spending on college is it worth the <laughs> job that we will get after 4 years okay okay uh, so as for me i am able to uh, get that back uh, but i know that might not be the cases with everyone but you should not lose hope because even if you are in a company where you are not getting paid well that's not the end of life you can always upskill and switch for a better company and right now there are a lot of opportunities out there not in this covid 19 situation to be very frank but before before this situation arose there was a lot of opportunities of out there and there are a lot of trending skills in the market so try to upskill into those and i'm damn sure you'll get the package you deserve uh ma'am people generally have this question that uh if there are two companies one is a a good company and another is not very good company but it's offering them a better package so where they should go like they should go for a good company or they should go for a better package okay so that depends on you know at what point in life you are and what are your challenges in life because not everyone has the same challenges some has loads of financial responsibilities and for that they have to choose a better package so that they can carry out the responsibilities whereas um, there are some people who can focus more on their skills and uh, getting into a good company and not worrying about the package as of now they can focus on increasing the package later in life but to those who are financially challenged even if i'm giving this advice they'll always go for you know a better package so ma'am i wanted to ask uh, if a certain people uh, get the job because a lot of people say that the first job you get you should take that job uh, and some others say that uh, uh, wait for the right opportunity so what will you suggest uh, the first job that we get will it give you a learning curve and should one take the first job that we get Again, the same thing will go here because that's your choice to make depending on the challenges in life you're facing. But uh, if you are, you don't have any such financial challenges in life, then it's always good to have a job and learn. Uh, you know what all you can learn in that particular company who is paying you a little less, but you can have a 
you know experience of being a professional and it's not always about the skill even if you're not getting in the desired skill you can learn a lot of things from uh, you know working for a company like how to interact with others how how to work on excel or there are many lot lots of you know teeny tiny things which you can learn it ne- experience never goes to waste so don't miss that opportunity if you don't if you're not facing any additional life challenges you can go for it man what what would you say is would be a better choice as of now because uh, there's a recession going on and covid and all that thing so what do you think uh, uh, would be better to directly get into job as of now the first job that you get or would you suggest uh, an individual to, uh, should go for uh, higher studies and tech and ba and all these things okay this is for the year 2020 yeah 2020 and after that 2021 22 Okay, so I'm asking you this question because uh, the situation out there is quite bad for uh, the whoever is looking for a job right now, and um, it's quite difficult. So instead of wasting your time, you can opt for a uh, higher education. But if you want, if you want job and uh, earning money is your need right now, you can maybe try. But I'll advise you that if you are in this point of time, you can choose for getting a higher education as well. And later, if you get a job opportunity, you can think about that also. That's the harsh re- reality of this time right now because uh, I I just moved my company. I was working in a previous company, uh, you know, other company in the in the month of March, and I switched in the month of April. And let me tell you, I had many offers in hand, but almost. almost 70% of the offers were cancelled were revoked because of this covid 19 situation so keep that in mind that it's difficult out there especially at this point of time many of my classmates have gone for an mba after gaining some experience in it and they were supposed to be graduated uh, this year and they had good offers as well but their offers are revoked now and they don't know what to do right now and in many companies out there as i told you that they have deferred the hikes and bonuses of their employees and every day in the news i'm seeing that some or the other company are laying off employees it's not a good situation out there but to cope with it if if there is someone out there who has just now lost his or her job or whose offer has been revoked or something like that has happened uh, you can always upskill and reskill and look for better opportunities because uh, you know the company who has fired you in the, in such a time it it would have fired you in in a later point of time also just assume that if a recession had hit or something had happened that company would have fired you then also so it's better to look for a company at this time who will uh, you know just not leave you hanging in the air at such critical situations Abhinav, you don't have any question? No, no. Just conclude it then. Thank you so much, Ms. Shushti Gautam. We were pleased to have you. We had a great, wonderful conversation with you, and I hope all the viewers who is watching this video has their doubts all clear. And I would again thank Ms. Shushti Gautam for taking time for us and answering all the questions. Thank you, ma'am. it was a pleasure and follow kit kaksha guys and my juniors are doing a very nice uh, in, have taken a very nice initiative so please do follow them thank you ma'am